Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back to another episode of watching me get my jam on and making a fool out of myself in front of the camera and then putting it on the internet for you guys to look at. That's a long name for a TV show, right? Let's do it. So I'm glad you decided to stop by because right now I'm about to unbox the, uh, the Soundcore Flare 2. Man, Soundcore has been hitting home runs uh, with me in my book uh, with their Liberty Pro 2s and uh, Liberty Air 2s. And I've also done the Motion Plus. Oh man, those are bangers right there. So I can only imagine what they're gonna do with 360 degrees worth of sound. Like that's crazy. I'm looking right here at the box and it says it's got uh, this base up technology, which I am not a stranger of. Then you got some lights. You can link this thing up to a hundred plus speakers. Dude, if you got a hundred friends with the uh, Flare 2 speaker, first of all, congratulations to Soundcore for selling that many speakers to one circle of friends. <laughs> but next, like that is one hell of a party. A hundred people with these things? Uh, let's see here, 12 hour playtime and it's fully waterproof. So you can go ahead and take this to Cancun and tape, uh, tether it to your leg or something and jump in the ocean. I guess that's what people are doing Bluetooth speakers these days. Either way, Mr. Meat is bored, so let's just give him something to do. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Get that out of here. It's time, baby. It is time. All right, look at that right there. There you go. Unlimited. 360 degrees worth of sound. Let's pull this out, open up the box, and see what kind of goodies they're giving us today. All right, so we got, looks like your accessories kit right there, front and center. Let's just dig into it real quick, see what's in here. All right, we got your USB-C charging cable, which is a huge plus. Like to have one cable for all the things. All right, got some uh, some instructions and stuff. Let me keep this, oh, it's a quick start guy. Let me keep this handy, because you never know with Soundcore, they've always got special features within their app, because yes, this is app connected. Now we got the star of the show. Let me put that to the side. You know what? Let's show this box a little bit of respect. Let's let's put it right here. I gotta respect Soundcore because man, they've been putting it down lately. So here is the speaker, man. The speaker, you know, let me show you. So this is my hand, like that's the speaker. I was actually expecting a bigger speaker, but wow, this is it. So it's about that big. This is my hand right here. And you can actually, well, it's not that, it, prop, it will not fit in a cup holder or nothing like that but it's, wow, it's kind of petite, man. It's nice and inconspicuous. Not gonna get in the way of any or decor or anything like that. I wonder if they got different colors. This would be fly in like a gray or something like that. I wonder. There's your LED light ring right there. And then it looks like you got one on the bottom. It's got kind of like a gel feel to it. And then if you kind of get in there, you can see these little buttons right here. You got a power, a plus and minus for tracks and volume. Then you got a light right there. And then I'm a, that's the multi-function button right there. It's that sound core emblem. And then you got some sound core branding right there. And on the bottom, you got nothing but that little rubber pad. On the back side, it says Flare 2. Let's see what this is. All right, so you only have a USB-C input right there. No 3.5, which is, you know, I don't care about that. Uh, and then you got a bass up button right there. And then you got a Bluetooth button right there to kind of link it up to the other speakers. So that's pretty much it, man. It's a Bluetooth speakers. Bluetooth speakers are typically pretty simple until you get it paired up and then there's an app involved and then things get all weird. So let's just see what this app has to offer. Okay, as soon as you turn it on, you get these lights, man. This thing looks like freaking candy. Look how vivid those colors are and smooth. Those aren't LEDs, man. That's something else in there, man. That's some space age stuff they got in there, man. That is so smooth how that is. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that game, Simon. Do y'all remember Simon? Like you 80s babies, do y'all remember Simon Says or whatever that game was? Anyways, we got the app right here. It says connect to the Flare 2. Let's go ahead and do that. And here it is. So let's get into some stuff, man. We got some EQ stuff right here. We have default, oh, okay, there's a switch. It's got an add extra bass switch, well, which I'll have to play with. And then you got default, voice, chill, and flat. So not as many EQ settings as you get with their headphones. Let's go back to home. Okay, you got a battery deal there. What's this right here? Okay, that just gets you back into the, to the home page. Uh, all right, now we are at volume. Let's put that down to like medium volume. Play and pause, and then you got lighting effect. Ooh, so this is where we get fancy. Oh, let's put this right here. So you got, what is it on right now? So it's on party time right now. So that's, it says slide down and go back. All right, so beat driven rainbows. We'll have to check this out. And then we got flashing beats. So it's gonna go with the music, but it did change color a little bit. We got bouncing beats. 
what is this? Let's go into this right here. Oh, it looks like you can toggle the colors too. So let's just change it all to green. All right, you can have it all green or all this pinkish, purplish color. Let's just do all of them because I'm feeling colorful today. What? What? Whoa. Okay, so we got cool breath. Okay, wait a minute. We got cool breath. I'll get to what I just saw in just a second. And this is like blues, I guess. You can just change all these colors that you want. Or you can just turn it off. Some people just get annoyed by all the colors and stuff. So you can just simply turn it off by hitting the switch up here, which is nice uh, to have as an option. But right here, dude, I just saw this. It says, who's next? And it looks like the game of Simon. <laughs> it's funny I just said that, man. It looks like the game of Simon. Okay, so start. Let's see. Right now, this thing is kind of just lighting up in different quadrants or, or what is this separated in the six portion. So let's just hit start, see what that does. Okay, that's cool. So if you, somebody's sitting over there, like let's say y'all sitting on a table, somebody's sitting over there, I guess it's their turn to choose the song or something like that. Or if you got multiple people connected to this thing, they can, they can uh, choose the song. Let's go in there again. Oh man, this is intense, that music. Okay, so the cat over there has to choose what song we're going to be playing. This is like, I, I guess you could even play like one of the kissing games, man. Like spin the bottle or even truth to dare with this thing, man. <laughs> we got to keep this out of my house because I don't want to be playing no truth to dare up in my house, man. I got, I got history, bro. Okay, so now we got to see how this thing actually sounds and performs. But before I do that, I want to give a huge shout out to all my JD aliens who actually decided to support the channel in a major way. I know subscribers mean everything to me, man. I'm glad everybody's here, but there's a special group of people who have went down there and hit that join button and actually became members and they're supporting the channel in the major way. So now those people have access to my private discord. Uh, we're going to be doing some live streams and all kinds of cool stuff, man, behind the scenes videos and first access to videos. So yeah, membership has its privileges and I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel that way by clicking that join button down there. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I like it so far. I like it. Let me turn it down just a little bit because this is really loud. And as far as, hold on, <laughs> as far as 360 sound, I, I picked it up and there's no fading in any direction, but let me just make sure. No, man. 360 degrees worth of music all up in your face. There's no fading on any direction of this. Even when you get to the back panel of this thing, there's, I guess the driver's somewhere up here. So you don't get any fading of the sound once you get around this back panel right here. Let's play some more of that music. Okay, okay, okay. Now, since there's only four sound profiles, I'm gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna toggle the extra bass on and off because uh, I wanna see what this sounds like with these sound profiles because they've done such a great job with their headphones and um, earbuds as far as these different sound profiles. I wonder if it's implemented the same way in this speaker. Let me step back a little bit. Here's an assessment for you. 
all of these sound profiles, I can tell the difference between the sound shifts in between them. I know when I did voice, it made me think, man, I don't have lyrics in here. Look, I can't do lyrics for you guys because I'll get like copyright claims out the wazoo. And this is how I freaking pay my mortgage. So I can't be getting copyright claims on my videos, not for the sake of you and your little YouTube experience. But either way, I could definitely tell the sound shift and uh, you can tell that the music, the music sounds great with all of the profiles. So when we go from like voice to chill to flat, I do notice that a little bit of the bass is taken out and more of the highs are being, or more of the highs and mids are being brought forward. So that's really nice. Uh, just in case you need to change like music genres or something like that. Let's say you're listening to country, uh, like old school country, you don't need as much bass or you know maybe just listen to like some jazz or something and you don't need as much bass not only can you toggle it on or off but you can also you know bring it to maybe chill or flat and just get more of a pure sound you know what i'm saying but that extra bass actually does add the extra kick from it and i just noticed that even if you whether you press uh the button on the back of the speaker or not you see that it's toggling so if you press the button you see it toggle right there and if you press that it toggles it off here. So it's actually working very well with each other. Now let's go ahead and test a quick YouTube video. Let me see, let me pull up one of my favorite YouTubers real quick. All right, so this cat's one of my favorite YouTubers and he just happened to do a collaboration video on his channel with my other favorite YouTuber. So y'all gotta check this video out right here. So we got 32 gigabytes of Trident Z RGB. For y'all that don't like RGB, I know it's a, I know it's a few of y'all. Fix your life. I know it's a few of y'all don't like Fix RGB. RGB everything. Fix your life. <laughs> that's right. If you don't like RGB, fix your life. Hey man, but seriously, that's one of my favorite YouTubers right there, DVZ in Media. Make sure you check out his channel. He came over to my crib and we put together this awesome PC that you see there in the back. That thing is awesome. And you gotta check out the build that we did here on his channel. So make sure you click the link below and that way you can see that and you can see my two favorite YouTubers hard at work, <laughs> drinking and having a good time. But you know what? That was your test for latency between like YouTube videos and stuff like that. But honestly, man, this is a great indoor speaker. And yes, you could get two of them and have them in stereo mode, but most people will just have one, right? And what do most people use a Bluetooth speaker for? I don't know, maybe sitting out on the patio, maybe just chilling with some friends outside. So why don't we just test it in that environment because it's nice outside and I don't feel like being in here no more. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. Okay, let me turn this down a little bit. Dude. So I was in the kitchen making my drink and this was out here. So I got a wall and then another wall and then my kitchen and this is outside. And I don't know if it was breaking up or not, but it was damn sure playing well uh, when I walked outside. So the connection is great. As a matter of fact, let me just, let me just walk out there just cause I know you guys, y'all be wanting me to prove stuff. So let me just turn this up. Hey man, so I just circled around that tree and I'll be honest with you, man, the music actually sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a little speaker, so you gotta, you know, manage your expectations, but the music coming from this thing right here at a low volume, I mean, I'm getting nice, full, rich bass. The highs are where they need to be. And what's, what's really interesting is that you don't seem to lose a lot of bass when you turn it up all the way. I hope that's not interfering with the mic. Let me turn it down some more. You don't uh, seem to lose any bass when you turn it up all the way, uh, but you maintain the clarity. There's no distortion and it just, it's a really good outdoor performer. Oh man, I'm rude. I ain't even asked if you wanted one. But look, let me wrap this up because I need to get busy with this drink. Seriously, man, it's definitely an outdoor performer. It's a great indoor speaker, but it shines well outdoors because it's 360 degrees worth of sound. So if I had somebody sitting right there, or over here, or over here, and even way out there, everybody's gonna hear the same music at the same time without fading or a loss of bass or anything like that. So I'm actually kind of really enjoying this thing, man. And the party lights, I like them. So yeah, man, that's the Soundcore Flare 2 right there for you. And I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but I'll tell you what I will do. 
because I'm gonna enjoy this drink while y'all get out of my backyard and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might wanna consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?